Welcome back, travelers, to your favorite, my favorite, our favorite series, Hunt for the Rainbow Rare Pikachu. Let me push this back a bit so you guys can see the full thing. I don't know that this has Vivid Voltage Pack, so I don't know if we're counting this as part of the thing, but it is me opening Pokemon cards at the time Vivid Voltage is out, and it's probably taking the place of one of the episodes. I just saw this really cool collector chest. Got the starters on the back, too. I love these collector chests. I don't get too many of them though. I got the Zacian and Zamazenta one though, because uh, I love Zamazenta. I got the Detective Pikachu one because anybody that knows me knows I am obsessed with Detective Pikachu and Pikachu in general. I think everybody knows Pikachu is my thing. Also, this one has a Pikachu and a Charizard on it. So that is the bomb. I love this. Uh, let's hop right in and see what we get. Oh, everything's gonna fall out. I have messed up horribly. That's no news to you guys, though. There's a code. Uh, what do we have here? We have a sword and shield, a sun and moon burning shadow, some sun and moon packs, which is odd. And two vivid voltage. We do have some vivid voltage. I love vivid voltage. Do you guys love vivid voltage? Of course you do. That's why you're here. Or you just really support me. In which case, I really appreciate that. But let's look at our promo, shall we? So this thing has three little promos. That is a Rillaboom, a Cinderace, and an Inteleon, which is cool because the previous one, the Zacian and Zamazenta one, had a promo of uh, Score Bunny, Sobble, and Grookey. So they basically grew up for the next chest. I love that. Considerably, it is amazing. I'm trying to pop those out without damaging them. Let's pop a coin out so I can show you. Let's go get a coin so I can show you guys that. <laughs> In just a second. This coin is a champion time. Look at this. Look at this beautiful hunk of plastic. That Charizard looks like he's having a champion time. I love it. Put that on the side here because as we know, my background goes further than I see. Here are the promos, the Cinderace. Inteleon, and a Rillaboom. Rillaboom is always my favorite of the three. I didn't like these starters too much. I loved Grookey and Rillaboom, but like that was just of the three. Considerably, I didn't like him as much as I've liked previous starters. And of course, nobody will ever take the place of Popleo for me. Which I know is a more recent starter, but it is a little uh, song seal. He is the best and nobody can tell me otherwise. These are stickers. I'm building a binder with Ariel uh, once, you know, the whole thing is over because I keep getting her cards and cool stuff that can go in a binder. So these are probably going on mine. I may give her some for her too if she likes the Fat Pikachu. I hope she likes the Fat Pikachu. Fat Pikachus are cool. Everybody should love Fat Pikachus. Do you guys like Fat Pikachus? I love Fat Pikachus. Here's some of the starters. Don't like these two. Like I said, these just don't appeal to me. These. These starters weren't the coolest things to me. Like, why wouldn't I love Blaziken over this? Why wouldn't I love Primarina over any of this? Why wouldn't I love... Have I had a favorite grass starter? I love Bulbasaur. Uh, but I wouldn't say he's my favorite. I always started with Charmander as a kid. I know that's giving him nostalgia and everything and everybody picked Charmander, but I did too. I'm part of everybody. I love the Gigantamax Charizard. They put it there because they knew everybody picked it. I don't think I've ever had a favorite grass starter. I'm thinking of it. That is odd. Rillaboom has been my first favorite grass starter. Okay, that's a new discovery. Uh, let's see what else is in our little collector chest. Oh, I see something I like in the back of this. But in the meantime, we have a little notepad. It's just a little notepad with the three starters on it. It's really cool. And then here's a little mini binder. Half of it Pikachu, half of it Charizard. Ah, oh, that's really cool. I love this. I'm probably gonna put cool stuff in that. Maybe my promos. I'll probably put my promos in the set. Like I said, I'll probably put my favorite promos of the set there. But now for why you guys are really here. This came with some vivid voltage packs. Let's do it. Let us do the voltage of the vivid. It's only two, so there's not much hope for uh, Rainbow Rare Pikachu. 
But there's always hope for a rainbow rare Pikachu, isn't that right? We ain't going to get it if we're being negative, but this is a solid green code, so that hope was blown with this pack. But let's see our Oshawott, our Duskull, Ferroseed, Riolu with the best punch, Dredge Up, Sandile, I was reading the attack, not the name, I'm sorry. Pin Curtain. I have a funny story about Pin Curtain. You know, I didn't acknowledge this Pokemon is real for a while. Uh, my friends, the Stonebreakers, I don't know if you guys have heard me talking about them with Ricky at all. Um, they completed my Pokedex for me while I was working at Domino's. So I could get the Shiny Charm and I started starting breeding Ice Cues. Still no Shiny Ice Cube, by the way. But yeah, uh, they're just like, you don't have Pin Curtain? I'm just like, what is a Pin Curtain? They're just like this. I'm just like, that's not real. It's like, cur Pin Curtain's not a real Pokemon to me. That, no, that's a spiky Pukamuku. It's a Pukamuku in Halloween. I got a reverse Moo Moo Cheese, in case you guys are wondering how my day's going. And that is a cool art. Lycanroc is, does he have a trainer in the back of him? I'm sorry if I'm too close to the mic. Nah, he doesn't have a trainer. That's just a really cool art of the moon and the Lycanroc and everything. But now we have a Zarude pack, which I don't think will treat us any better than our Fat Pikachu pack, because of course, Fat Pikachus are life, unless you're Ricky, then they are in fact death. And I was correct, this is another solid green code. But let's jump right in, no, no, wait, we gotta do the thing. Gotta do the thing so we see the thing last, the thing being the rare thing and the first thing being the thing where you put the rare last. You guys get me, right? <laughs> so we have a Beldum, a Milsery, a Whooper, Ninkata, Whismer, Fighting Energy, Zeb Stryka, Dusclops, Beauty, a reverse Terrakian. That's kind of cool. Is he rare? He's rare. So you, you can get a rare in the reverse slot. I was telling you guys about the reverse last time. Just uh, put a little bit of foiling on the edge of a random card in the set. They can be rare sometimes. So this is actually really cool. I like the reverse rare Terrakion. And our rare of the pack is a Mudsdale. I'm going to separate these. These are going to go into our Vivid Voltage Binder. These while our fun to open are not going to go with the same set. So we're gonna open them. I'm gonna show you guys the cool cards in them, but they're not part of the Hunt for the Rainbow Rare Pikachu. So Hunt for the Rainbow Rare Fat Pikachu is officially closed for this episode. Do you guys get me? I always wonder that, just like, are they understanding my rambling or am I just rambling? The answer's usually the second one. <laughs> this is a Sword and Shield, so I believe it's four. I don't know if Sun and Moon's also for. I haven't even seen Sun and Moon forever. What? Ram, not Ram, Snom. His attack is Ram, his name is Snom. A very disappointing bug tag. Ah, Frostmouth's actually kind of cool. It has high special attack, it just doesn't have any survivability. Like he gave it four times weakness to fire. Why would you do that? Gossiflor, Goldeen, Diglett, Electric Energy, a Hitmon Lee. A rare candy, a good card for any build. Lucky Egg, a reverse Pokegear 3.0, and a regular Stenjourner. I'm gonna put these to this side. Why are we showing our champion time Charizard when we could be showing our fat Pikachu? That's why we didn't get any Rainbow or Fat Pikachu, guys. It was an unavoidable mistake, but the vibes weren't correct. While champion time Charizard is amazing, it's not what we're looking for. Sorry, bud. Oh, I forgot to show you guys what this pack was. I was rambling. This is Sun and Moon Burning Shadow. So this, you won't even see any Sword and Shield Pokemon, but it does have a white and green coat. Is this one three or four? We're going to say three because I don't want to risk that being something amazing and showing... Nope, I feel something more than a, <laughs> a hollow. It is four. So we have a Meryl. A Caterpie, Morlul, Duskull. Check out, that Duskull's dabbing. Look at him. He's doing the dab. He's just living his best life, dabbing, because he's a ghost and has no worries in the world. This Duskull is who I aspire to be in life and death. Life and Anyway, that's Duskull. Oddish, Electric Energy, Potown, Weakness Policy, Heatmore, Butterfree, and what I was feeling was in a Lowland Muck GX. That is horrifying and pretty at the same time. Look at those colors that could destroy you 
just by coming in contact with you. Isn't that amazing? Good old ultra. Oh yeah, so I got different sleeves for this. Because as I told you guys, I used the Fat Pikachu sleeves from a couple episodes ago or last episode, whenever. Sorry for the crinkling. Uh, for that Dragon Ball deck, hopefully Ricky and I get to play soon. But of course, we will be sleeving all our ultra rare stuff. Nothing gets unsleeved. And now we have our last one, a base Sun and Moon Soul Galio pack. I'm hoping for something cool. Are you guys hoping for something cool? I like cool stuff. I hope you guys look like cool stuff. That looks like cool stuff. What I've told you guys, that does sound like cool stuff. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. And we got a Marini, a Stuffle, Togedemaru, a Lolan Grimer, Fomantis, a Fairy Energy, I'm a fan, Wishy Washy, Howl, Dartrix, kind of spoiled that, an EXP share, and in case you guys hadn't seen it yet, our uh, Ultra Rare pull is an Incineroar GX. GX was what the Ultra Rares were before V. As you saw in the Sword and Shields, we got a V for the rare cards. Before that, they were GX. Before this, they were EX. So they're just uh, changing their names and mechanics and all the old mechanics don't work on the new stuff. And it's a mess. They, I hope they know what they're doing. Mixing old and new stuff. I don't know how it works. But yeah, this was our little uh, Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage Collector Chest. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I did. It was a short little, just a short little romp. You know, we only had two packs towards our hunt. But that's okay. Go ahead and tune in next time. Leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe to see me get a Rainbow Rare Fat Pikachu. You are not going to want to miss it because it is going to be incredible. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I hope they knew it was Joe.